Okay, so have you ever had, I don't know you have, so don't pretend like you haven't. Have you ever had those situations where you grow something and then you're not exactly sure what variety it is or even what it is? Um, if that is the case, then you're gonna enjoy the rest of this video. Gigantor things here. <laughs> Can you get it get all in the frame? Yeah. This big old guy, which we think is a Kushaw winter squash. And I also believe that the shape is a little bit different than Kushaw really is. I'll put a picture up here somewhere to show you what Kushaw usually looks like. And then you have this thing. And this is one of two that harvested themselves. When I say harvested themselves, I mean, we were growing them vertically and they became too heavy for their vine support. And literally the, the vine just broke. So they harvested themselves. Here's the other one. This is the one that's been on the vine the longest. We've gotten so much rain and these guys were growing so fast that it completely evaded me to get supports put up under them. Now on YouTube and on the internet you've seen all kind of different supports that people will use stockings and bras and knitting like you can get real creative with it and I don't even really know what I would have done we have two more out there that are at that point where they also need to be supported so that this doesn't happen with them. Um, and we'll come up with some type of way to get that taken care of. However, in the meantime, since these two have harvested themselves, if this is squash, we're going to be good for about a year. The thing about winter squash is it really does need to mature on the vine and then cure properly in order to have a good storage life. Had these two vine ripened, and then we would have cured them until the skin was nice and tough. Cause right now as I'm pushing down on the skin, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty tough, but it's not hard. And that means that nicks can get in there and allow air in, and then your fruit can start to rot. But if you let it cure properly, that skin gets really, really hard. Kind of like on a butternut squash that you purchased from the store. The skin is really, really tough. And that's because those squash have been allowed to cure for a matter of weeks in order to get to that point. And then they're good for winter storage. And that's why we call these vining squash winter squash. Not because we grow them in winter. A naive young gardener thought that, being me, a long time ago. And I come to find out that that was not the case. It's just meaning that these guys are going to um, store well throughout the winter for you. And so back in the day when there wasn't a whole lot of uh, storage options like refrigerators and freezers and you know things like that, uh, they grew things that could store naturally in just cool, dry environments and, and cellars and things like that. And winter squash was one of those things. So what we're going to do is, uh, uh, I don't think I want to put these in the sink. I am going to, I've already dusted a good bit of the dirt off, but we don't want to introduce any bacteria into it while we're cutting it. So I'm going to wipe it down really good with some vinegar and then we're going to cut into these and just see what it looks like. Okay, so the reason why we chose to go with this one, even though this is the younger of the two, this one, as you can see here, 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 and there's several other spots, um, has some pest damage. And so, as I mentioned earlier, the skin is not tough yet. And so with that pest damage, it has opened up the window for uh, bacteria. It's opened up the window for 
oxygen and all kinds of issues to start degrading this piece of fruit. Now, from what I've been told by experienced Kushaw growers, I've researched as well on the Google, is that this particular fruit can be harvested younger um, and just used as like a summer squash. So that means I would just harvest it and use it rather quickly than expecting it to be, you know, good in six months. So now I'm gonna get my pan here, just a baking sheet. I'm gonna put it on. so that we can contain any mess that we might make. Got to get a knife. All right, so kind of like, oh, no, 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 no fly. Kind of like with a uh, watermelon, I'm just gonna bring in right here, ooh. Wow, okay. Let's turn it. I am so thankful for this video because I never realized that I had such a look of determination when it came to cutting open squash and watermelon. <laughs> oh, gracious. It's the stem part that's being so stubborn. I think I'm just going to break it. It's mine, by the way. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> excited about this I can't stand it ah <laughs> dinner for days <laughs> look at that is it see gorgeous that stringiness there is very much like a pumpkin yep let's see Squash. Well, there you have it. We got squash. And so now I'm gonna pop up a picture of what the inside of a ripe Kushaw would look like right here. And let's compare. Am I close? <laughs> All right, so stay tuned and we'll figure out more about what to do with this and probably come up with some nifty ideas as far as cooking and preparing even perhaps preservation and we have three more good sized ones out there that are um, maturing very quickly because like I said all of this rain that we've been getting and those have to something have to be done with those as well and I'm wondering how good these seeds will be as far as like, hmm, I don't think they're ready. I don't think the seeds were mature enough to be able to use, but stay tuned. Thanks for joining on this journey. See you next time. What I did to prepare this for that night's meal is I took half of it, baked in a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. Now, if you're doing this, I suggest you go ahead and do an hour and a half, perhaps starting your baking while you are working on your stuffing. Our stuffing included rice, ground sausage, 
jalapenos and tomatoes and topped with a mozzarella cheese. It was very filling and this actually lasted us for two days. Yay for leftovers.